got a little resistor. It's CAN bus error free, so you don't get any issue on your dashboard, and there's no bolt to replace. We can still use this to find out information about a car that you may not have this set up for. And this is what we're gonna see. Intake air temperature and that one there, airflow rate from mass airflow sensor is 0.3 pounds per minute. And this one here is quite interesting. Number of warm ups since DTC's cleared. So if you're actually buying a car, it means that somebody's actually just cleared the fault. Let's move on, cause it's time to move on. Well, I've been driving now for about 10 minutes and that's the longest I've had without this car throwing up that air suspension fault. I think I've got it. Aha, and there's your steering angle sensor. There we go. <laughs> one steering angle sensor. Right, let's get on the bench. Right, so if you look carefully inside here, that one there is much more worn down than that one. Obviously the window's not dropping down because it's frozen. That's when I fitted that battery. I've never had to charge it. I can leave this car for a month in the middle of winter and it's absolutely perfect every single time. This little sensor here just sits on the base. I lick my finger. So if I know that if I hear that, I've got water in the trunk. The speed of which you travel is quite important. And obviously on the analog dials, you can't always get it absolutely exact. If you just want to have a digital reading so you've got a far more accurate indication of the speed that you're traveling, then just set it on your SL. Gonna let me out, gonna let me out. Thank you, cheers. That's a kind driver, isn't it? There's that many traffic cameras, it's game over. You lose your license, you can't drive a car, you'll get banned, could be anything up to three years. It's great. <laughs> Ah, uh, which button do I press? I forgot. So I always remember it's the most obscure screen that you'd expect it to be associated with. One, two, three. And I got service A in 10,000 miles. Grab your remote and do this. Likewise, if you want to close the windows, just press and hold the lock button. What alarm? What alarm? <laughs> it's definitely, there's definitely a uh, dirty PCB if I ever saw one. looking at this here these are the satellites that are passing over but I don't seem to have any lock-ons so let's put the car into reverse there we go reverse is on air suspension inactive the fact that I've got this on the dashboard there's a hardware issue clear fault memory Fault code. Oh, ABS is gone. So we have got uh, steering angle sensor read fault code. <gasps> no fault code found. Oh man, I just, I, I shouldn't get so excited, but I do. We've got the steering angle behaving itself, the ABS control module is behaving itself, and most importantly, the air suspension is behaving itself. Okay, so the pump has come on on the compressor. This 
washer wears out. And this is what I'm trying to get to in here. And you can see how it's shiny on that one side there. Okay, hidden window tricks, this time using your remote for your Mercedes. So put your finger on the car, that way you've always got the same distance and watch what happens. Okay, Mercedes A-Class automatic door locks, W169. Let's do it. Key on, just before you start the engine. Press the menu button on the left. Until you get to the screen that says reset. That bad boy there. Press the up arrow. And you're going to the settings menu. Now on the right hand side of the steering wheel, use the plus and the minus keys. And that's donated here by the top. Plus, minus. So minus to move down. Vehicle, go into vehicle, press the up arrow. What do we see on the screen? Automatic door locks are on. Hey, real quick one for you. If you've got a 2004 or thereabouts Citroen Berlingo, you can make the doors lock automatically by just following what I'm going to do in this video. Also, if you've got the feature on and you wanted to turn it off, I'll show you how you do that as well. So, the automatic door locks are also sometimes known as the anti theft vehicle locking which is just a simple way to make sure the doors lock at a certain speed and they would come on if you got the feature set at about five mile an hour. Turn the car on if you want to, it doesn't really matter. Press and hold the lock button and listen for the beep on the dash. Keep your finger on the lock. Okay, the beep then signifies that you've now got the doors on auto lock. The doors are locked, so press it to unlock it. And now the doors, as you drive along, will automatically lock. So let's try it out. You can see that the door here is unlocked. As I drive along at a certain speed, it will start to lock the doors automatically. There you go. And likewise, you want to turn the feature off, just press and hold that lock button again. This time the doors will unlock and then you'll get that tone on the dashboard. 